Hi guys, uh, this is Sharat. Uh, so in my previous video of how to create a Jekyll blog, I have explained how to create a beautiful blog and we created a blog called Emerald. Uh, so this is how it looks like. And if you check for a sitemap for this blog, um, you don't find one because you know we don't have any. Uh, we haven't configured any sitemap for this. It shows a 404 error. But why do we need a sitemap? Uh, so a sitemap is a simple XML file which has a list of links to all your web pages. So I can show you how it looks like for my blog, sitemap, if you go to sitemap.xml, it should give me, a, give me a list. So this is how it looks like. So it has all the links of all my posts and other pages. Uh, but why do we need such a file? Actually. This is for search engines, not for any human reading. Uh, usually bots from search engines crawl through your website and look for the content and uh, they go through all the links and index them in the search engine database. Uh, so whenever somebody searches your page or you know your keyword, they list your website or your, your link or your post in the search result. So bots are nothing but some software agents uh, we check for all your uh, website content and you know other things So this is the reason why we need a sitemap uh, for easier crawling of bots So that is the reason we have to create a sitemap file and submit it to all the webmaster tools like Google webmasters Bing webmasters and uh, Yahoo webmasters and sometimes for the Russian websites you can submit it to Yandex uh, webmasters so that is when uh, search engines will know that your website or your blog has some content related to the keywords that users are searching for. So now that you know the importance of having a sitemap file, let's go ahead and create one for our blog as well, So which is Emerald. So all you have to do is go to the config.yaml file inside the blog repository and add these two lines of code, actually one line of code and your, your sitemap will be created. Uh, so let's add that mm -hmm. So this is the config.yml file I'm editing it and Maybe at the at the end of the file. I'm gonna add it Okay, that should do let's commit Okay, so now that the code is there uh, let's check again if the sitemap has been created or not uh, not yet maybe we have to give it a little time and I'll come back and check again to see if the sitemap has been generated so even after like five minutes I didn't get the sitemap file uh, probably there is something wrong with the code let's check it out okay so oh I guess I you know it has to be in this format I mean like you know it has to be the code the second line should be below gem. Okay, so uh, got it wrong. So let's give it some tab. Okay, this should do now. Okay. Um, yes, it is. So here, if you see, it has all the links uh, to your all your posts. Probably it should have all the links for about, you know, your your you know contact project and everything. Um, you'll find them in this list. So since it is our sample blog, I don't think it has any any more link. Uh, so yeah, so this is how you create a sitemap. So once you create the sitemap for your blog, submit it in Google Webmaster, Bing Webmaster, and also Yahoo Webmaster, so that it can index your website. And also leave a link to your new XML file uh, in the comments. So if you think it helped, then leave a thumbs up and subscribe to get updates on my next videos. Until then, bye-bye.